Hey fish friends, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. It's a Saturday, it's a beautiful day, it's sunny, and uh, I'm gonna go to a couple fish stores today and take you guys along. So, every you know, sometimes when I've got nothing to do or you know, it's a nice day, I wanna go out, check out some cool stuff, see if I can get some supplies, check out some fish because, dang it, right in the middle of my thing. Let's go uh, down to the door real quick. I don't want any. Oh, What's up, dude? Guys, this is way sicker than on YouTube, man. I'm getting much deeper set up, dude. Let's get Denzel in here so he can talk about these tanks, guys. All right, sorry for the interruption. Sorry for the doorbell ringing. <laughs> anyway, uh, one of the things that uh, they wanted to do, so we've got Mel uh, from Hawaiian Peacock, and then of course Evan from uh, IFG. Um, they wanted to check out a couple stores, so we hung out in my fish room, checked out all my different tanks, mud skivers, etc. My pond, and now we are at one of the stores. I filmed this store before. It's called Ocean Aquarium. Um, it's been featured on my channel a couple of times. It's been featured on Aquarium Co-op's channel, Corvus Hoskins' channel, a few other people. So. Um, this is a store that's really well known for no water changes and just really, really cool ways of keeping fish. So um, there's that whole DIY CO2 thing that I was doing before. So anyway, I'm going to show the guys around. I'll take a little bit of footage, maybe film myself a little bit or film some tanks or film them. But uh, take you guys along. Dude, look at the plants though. Look how lush. Yeah. yeah. You see only a little CO2. Oh yeah. This years. is the you know the chopstick inside have chopstick, not the diffuser. Okay. Chopstick also make bubble in it. I see how you have it coming off the yes, container. Yeah. Kind of Before you left, I give you some shrimp. What color you like? This oh. is the one I made. Really? Oh. What's up YouTube? What's going on man? It's IFG. <laughs> you know it. Are you picking up anything today? Uh, I was thinking of grabbing that Odo pipe.
All right, guys. So obviously, I was joking around about the whole doorbell thing. We went to a couple stores. You saw Sixth Avenue Aquarium, which is uh, that uh, kind of that Hong Kong Chinese style, um, super energetic. Lots of different kinds of oddball fish where you go in and you get your own fish. You saw me catching my own Amano shrimp. Um, and then we were also at Ocean Aquarium, which is that uh, really unique Planet Tank Aquarium or Planet Tank store that has a lot of uh, kind of interesting fish that you don't normally see in a lot of other stores. And they don't do water changes there, which you guys know. So anyway, it was the first time that Mel and Evan were at the store, obviously first time coming to visit. So uh, I would like to get their feedback and see what they thought about those two stores. So let's go ask them. All right, Evan, so what'd you think about the stores you visited today? Pretty amazing. Um, the first one that we went to, I really enjoyed that one. What, what's the guy's name, Justin? Justin, yeah. Justin, yeah, real personable guy. Um, seems to know a lot of us YouTubers, so that was really exciting. But the self-sustainable uh, fish store, dude, that was incredible. Yeah. All the lush plants and whatnot, and even some of the rare fish that he had. And um, like the Keely fish were really cool. And the, what was that, the baddest, what, which sort? Yeah, the red striped tiger baddest yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah. They, were, they, were, they were pretty cool, they were pretty cool. You know, I like those little mom and pops operations and stuff like that and whatnot. So I really enjoyed that one. Um, the second one, however, to it, like you said, it had like sort of that Chinatown feel to it, it like super high energy energetic people walking around everybody having fun um, A lot of exotic fish in there a lot of exotic fish in there However, majority of the fish well not majority but a lot of the fish that were being sold there We can't own them in Texas. So it was really fun to see those see those guys. Um, I, um, I don't know. I, I would give both of them. I would say like a 10. I like them both right on yeah. All right, Mel, what do you think about the stores? So to piggyback off what like IFG said, um, unique, for me, unique. Uh, stores that I've never seen before. Uh, the first store that we went to, Justin, great dude. Um, you just felt at home walking in. You didn't feel like a stranger off the streets. He made you feel very welcome. And then the tanks, zero water changes. That's all I kept saying in my video was zero water changes. Me and Evan are looking at each other going, zero water changes? It just, I can't even think, it doesn't even like enter my brain on how that is even possible. But right. you know, it was uh, an incredible experience. And then Sixth Avenue, uh, to go and get your own fish, you get your own net, you get your own box, go into each aquarium and fishing what you want, looking, you know, instead of going, oh, I want that one, I want that one. You know how we are like, no, 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 I want that one. You get to go do that, right? You get to be that guy. You get to get on your own nerves and you get to go get your fish and put it in there. And um, like Evan said too, very personal. I mean, everybody was like, very welcoming. I felt very welcome. I didn't feel like an outsider. Everyone was friendly. Uh, the atmosphere was uh, live. It was energetic. Um, the music was pumping. The fish were nice. I mean, uh, going upstairs, that was pretty cool. I'd never been upstairs looking down on the store. So that was really fun. And uh, yeah, I, I thank you, Zenzo, for taking us, man, in your time. I really appreciate it. That's that Aloha spirit right there, Bob. You know what else was pretty cool, though, guys? The way they had on the second floor those little cubes set up so if you were to go and grab a fish you wouldn't be digging into like an 80 gallon aquarium yeah. kind of fish to fish out. They had them in those little cubes made it really really accessible for the people that are trying to purchase fish and whatnot so that was pretty cool as well. Yeah. You know? What do you guys think about my fish room? Oh it's awesome dude like in person I'm telling you guys seeing it on YouTube and seeing it in person is Definitely two entirely different experiences. This place looks phenomenal, especially um, the mud skipper tanks and oh my god, that tang and leaking tank, dude, insane. I like how you have the coral set up and the fish just swim in and out and man, it's pretty sick. Also upstairs too, dude, that uh, the one where you made your own DIY background, that one is pretty sweet as well. But overall, everything looks great, guys. Glad you were, I was able to stop by. Appreciate you letting me come by and do my thing, man. Anytime. Yeah, for me, it was that Mbuna tank. As soon as you walk into the to uh, Zenzo's fish room, this one right here, impressive. I have a Mbuna tank at home, and they just 
they're just bigger in person. Like you can see this tank and Zenzo will be shooting and you'll see this tank and you're not thinking anything of it. They just look like, oh, okay, some African cichlids. These things are Jurassic, guys. They're Jurassic. And then the tank, the Hapsi Peacocks tank that you have upstairs in the house. Yeah. Beautiful. The colors are banging. They're huge. Uh, they're healthy. Um, like, like Evan said, it's just, it, it's night and day. Seeing it on YouTube and then being here in person, it's like, it's wow. Wow. And the mud skippers. I mean, I hate to repeat it and sound like a broken record, but these things are huge. They're like, they're girthy. They're not like, oh, little mud skippers. Oh, no. That's Look what she said. <laughs> <laughs> it's girthy. It's girthy. And uh, yeah, they're amazing. There's so much character in those and the Indian ones too as well. So uh, yeah, uh, thank you. Thank you for inviting us. This was a, a, an awesome trip. Thanks.